Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Daily Commitment. We just got home. We got some raisin bran. We got some wrapping paper. We're going to wrap some presents. But we're not even going to walk inside till we start our exercises. We're just going to do them right now. I don't want to wait on it. Um, I've been doing intermittent fasting today, so I haven't even eaten today. Uh, it looks like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, haven't even eaten. But uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'll go ahead and eat a healthy dinner and be doing really good. So with these guys, we did a couple things. Yesterday, we did not use... This guy, we did not use our assistance for pull-ups. We did pretty good, we got two solid ones, even with uh, this thing where I can't keep my legs straight, which makes the pull-ups harder. But it looks like we're set up for dips first, so we're gonna do our dips first. And I think I was telling you guys, I was definitely getting a lot of uh, a lot of chest uh, tiredness yesterday too, so definitely getting a lot with uh, doing this and doing the push-ups, but I like that. I feel like having two sets for the chest is not a big deal. Shouldn't be too tough, let's come up, one. Two, oh yeah, three, oh that one was all the way down, touch the ground, let's do four, there we go, four, and that's all we got, that's all we got for dips, let's come down a little slow here, and we're done with dips, all right, let's let this uh, guy up right there, I'm going to pull these up for the pull-ups, again, the pull-ups are tough because we can't lay our legs out properly, but what's nice about not using the, um, I'm going to do this a little differently today. What's nice about not using the uh, resistance band is that it makes it harder, first of all, which is great, right? Because it's, you know, it's a nice little challenge. But secondly, what I'm able to do by not using the resistance band is play with the position of my legs and my knees and stuff. Specific, specifically this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try holding my legs out in front of me like this. I'm coming up. Oh, oh God. Oh. All right, we had to kick. We had to kick a little bit for that first one. We made it up, we had to kick. Let's do another one. Let's go ahead and use the resistance band since that was kind of a weak pull up. I did get it, but I'm not gonna say I really appreciate it. Let's make sure these are nice and out so we get a good spread here in our arms. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna release, come down a little bit. Let's come up one. Let's go two. All right, so we got three pull ups there, two of them assisted. Not bad, definitely not great, but we'll take it. So uh, yeah, we got that. Now let's toss our um, jacket over our arm here. Get our raisin brand and our wrapping paper. Let's go inside, guys. Ooh, nice little floodlight there. Let's go inside, we're gonna do our squats, do our push-ups, and then we're gonna make some super healthy dinner. Let's see, door's locked. Let's unlock the door here. Oh. There we go. All right, we're in. We're in. So it is nice just to jump on your exercises. If you guys saw my earlier video today, I wasn't able to do my daily commitment in the morning. I had to wait till the afternoon, but I jumped on it as soon as I had a break. Uh, as soon as I had a break, I was able to do it in a shopping center while I was getting some shopping done. So that was nice. I would have rather had more. I probably, I didn't really, I don't even know if you even got a mile. It just, I didn't have that much time. So I'm a little disappointed there. We'll try to get a better one tomorrow. I'd like to get at least two miles. Um, four, two to four was what I was always shooting for. And I've actually upped it. I've gotten five and six a few times um, in the miles, do, doing a full hour and a half. So I like doing that. But let's, uh, let's just keep hitting it every day on that daily walk. And then eventually we'll get up to higher numbers on that too. It's about that consistency. It's about building a habit before you worry about getting a million miles, just get out there five, 10 minutes a day. And then once you get that daily habit, then you can increase the amount. So let's go ahead and let's get some push-ups done here. You can see the nice little Christmas tree in the background. I just had the top ones lit because it was like a night light. I didn't want it too bright, but it'll <laughs> half, half lit Christmas tree. So we're gonna come down right here into the shoulders. We're gonna go back a couple inches. We're gonna switch to our fist position to make sure we don't put too much strain stretching out that um, forearm flexor. And now we're gonna tighten legs. We're gonna tighten butt, we're gonna tighten chest like a board. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it straight and tight. Six, seven. Ah, definitely feeling worn out of doing the uh, dips. We're gonna stop at eight here. Wanna keep that good form. I'm definitely wobbling a little bit. We're fine with eight though. Let's do a little stretch here. Now it's time to get these squats done. 
I'm gonna pause the camera for one second, toss on some shorts, I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back now. If you were here yesterday, the form flexor does feel a little bit strained here, so I'm just massaging that and doing a little active release by going up and down. But anyway, if you were here yesterday, you know we got 70 squats yesterday. Now that's not our max, our max is 85, but I really think we could max out closer to 100 if we're getting 70 on back on our daily basis. We had gotten 75, we gotten 70, we're hitting 70s, and then we got sick uh, last week. And we had to build back up 50 squats, 50 squats, 60 squats, 65 squats, and then 70 squats. So um, we're gonna get ourselves, hopefully 70 again would be nice. I am gonna be gentle in my body. If I feel that I'm really hurting frog, I'll go ahead and cut it short, you know, 60 or whatever it is. But I'd like to get 70 again. So we're gonna push and see if we can get that 70 and then see if we can get that 70 daily for a little while and then get up to 75 and then hit, hit us a new max here. So let's see guys, you ready? Ready to give it a shot? This feels great by the way. It's, it's, I'll tell you, you, you'll feel the pain here a lot of times, but you can't really massage there. That's your tendon. Hitting back here where this, all these muscles are, there's little knots that form. You can go ahead and do that. It works really well. Uh, I have these tennis balls actually. Yeah, well I'm sitting here talking about it. I might as well do a little bit of it. You can take your tennis ball, you put it on the ground, you can put it on a you can put on a dresser so you're sitting instead of laying down like this and you just roll it see how here let me back up a little bit so you can see it a little better you just roll it like this give it that little roll little circles take your time slow make sure you put it on the muscle not the bone I'm telling you this is a great great way to release those forearm flexors if if you got any knots or you're feeling tightness from getting a lot of overworking them and again i got this injury doing pull-ups back before i had the rings I was doing pull-ups, and I could only do one pull-up at a time. I couldn't do two, three, four in a row like I can now. Um, but I was doing one pull-up at a time, which was barely able to do them. And again, I did that thing, and I'm still kind of working those rings a little more out. I was a little bit too much forward, so it was a little too much forearm. And also, uh, my wrists were locked because I was doing it on a tree. So that's when I first heard it. That was, I don't know, three months ago, four months ago. It was a little while ago now. And it's coming back, but like I said, I just want to stay gentle with it and give it that time. So this is a great, a great little massage here. I figured I'd show you guys. Also, before I do my uh, squats, catch my breath a little bit. Anyway, God, this feels so good, man, on that uh, sore flexor. Oh, it's amazing. And they're tense or tight. It's great. Anyway, let's knock these squats out. I'd like to get myself some dinner, some breakfast, whatever you want to call it. We got our bar here again. This is just to keep our shoulders straight. Keeps our back straight as we're going up and down. Um, again, I, I love doing this without even using my hands, just like that. Pop yourself up on your feet. You want to be able to come down and be flat, which I feel like, oh, hold on a second. That wasn't quite right. Let me come down again. I feel like I'm a little tight. My hips are a little tight here, and that's fine. So that's two. I'm going to be adjusting the angle. I think I'm going to do this just so I don't trigger that forearm flexor. I'll put my hands on top of the bar. Let's do three. Three. All right, I'm starting to feel locked in here. Just kind of playing with my foot position a little bit. Four, make sure there's no, no any special knee strain, anything like that. Five. Six, I like how I'm already breathing pretty heavy, huh? That's great. <laughs> Actually, I'm rolling my forearm flexor a little there, it feels good. So that's seven, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, that feels good in my flexor right there. Eight. Just taking it slow. We're just warming up here. Nine. Ten. All right. I'm trying to get those legs in just the right position. Feeling a little bit of soreness. Eleven on my inner left uh, thigh there, inner left knee. Twelve. I feel like I might have pushed myself a little far yesterday. We'll see how we feel. 13, just gonna take our time, a little knee pop there. 14, feels pretty good though. 15, you see me coming down every time and resting a little bit at the bottom. 16, but just keep it up guys, a little bit every day. 17, 18, Picking up a little speed here. 19, 20. 
All right, let's do this. 21. Keep that head tucked. 22. 23. 24. All the way down every time, all the way up every time. 25. 26. All right. 27. 28. Starting to feel it. 29. Feeling the inner, both my inner thighs now. Here we go, 30. 31. 32. 33. Oh, I'm gonna change my position here. Let's see if we get a better feel. 24. I mean 35, not 24, 35, 36, 37, 38, oh, it's a tough one, 39, might only do 60 today, we'll see how we feel, all right, so there's 40, 41, don't want to overwork if I'm not feeling it. 42. 43. 44. Oh. 45. 46. 47. Oh. 48. 49. All right, we got 50 right here. There's 50. I think we're going to stop at 60 today. Feel a little sore. 51. But 60 is still good. 52. Keep the head tucked. 53. Arr. 54. Arr. 55. It's just that left inner knee. 56, it's feeling a little worn out, and I'd rather be safe. 57. 58. Oh. 59, I'd rather take my time, get there a little slower. 60, I could push, I could probably even push to 70, but I'm worried just right along heel feels extra tired. I'm feeling a little extra soreness right in here, plus a little bit on this inner inner leg and knee there. So we pushed 70 yesterday. I'm fine with 60 today. We're going to keep it gradual, guys. A little bit of exercise every day. If you don't injure yourself, that's the way to go. Take your time with it. You get to those big numbers. You're going to be doing this every day for the rest of your life. So don't hurry it. So we see you guys next time right here on Daily Commitment. Bye, guys.